Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Advanced Technology Verana. In the previous session, I have done the configuration on the infrastructure side and uh, I finished uh, with the inside zone network switches and uh, I show you how I configure uh, the interconnectivity between my aggregation switch and uh, uh, my inside switches. And before that one, I did the configuration on my DMZ side infrastructure, okay? So in my overall network, uh, there are two uh, different zones, one as a DMZ side and one as inside side. And both zones will be connect uh, with my Palo Alto firewall. Uh, and the gateways will be on the Palo Alto firewall. My DMZ zone is open for internet traffic. And my inside zone is secure uh, from the internet uh, traffic because it have some internal servers, and uh, I, I keep the segregation of my network as inside and my outside. So I'm going to share my screen now. The thing which we I'm going to configure now, that is my uh, router, which is ASR1002. Okay. So I will configure the, this router uh, for the internet connectivity. I will provide the IP, public IP given by the ISP, default gateway, NAT, and uh, uh, then uh, after finishing this one, my focus will be on the Palo Alto firewall uh, basic configuration for the interfaces to make it reachable from Palo Alto firewall to my internet router and my inside and uh, my DMZ zones. Okay, so uh, let's start uh, our uh, configuration for the router. And in the next video, I will configure the Palo Alto firewall uh, with the interfaces IP and some basics. Uh, uh, customization which is recommended so don't forget to keep watching my uh, upcoming videos and uh, videos and the last videos if you want to understand how the infrastructure work uh, this is uh, the my advice to watch my videos because this is the real time implementation okay this is not on 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 some uh, emulators or the evng something like this one it is the real time hardware if you can see i have the Palo Alto, uh, Palo Alto firewall with ASR1002, Catalyst 9300, Catalyst 9200. This is my uh, wireless controller with access point, and this is my inside zone. So uh, let's start our lab now. So guys, I will connect with my ASR1002 uh, as a console link. I already connected with it, okay? And uh, I will configure uh, the internet connectivity. I have the public IP from my ISP. I only have one public IP, so I will configure the NAT on the interface. Okay, and NAT is very important uh, when you have only one public IP address and you have multiple users uh, in your uh, inside network. So if they want to go on the internet, they have to be a public IP. So to save the cost, because I cannot hold uh, more than one or multiple public IP for each and every user, so I will use the NAT. What uh, NAT will do, it will take my one public IP, map the traffic, put the port, and allow for my in inside user to browse for the internet. Okay. So this is I will do. I'm going to share my screen now. Okay. I'll do show IP interface brief. There is no configuration right now. I will use my 0 slash 0 to connect with my ISP as a public IP and 0 slash 1 as inside network okay so first i will make unshut same thing i do for my second link okay I'll provide the IP address. With the subnet mask. Okay, this is 240 subnet. And now I will check for my inside interface. This is the diagram. Okay, so my interface inside is 192.168.50.2. One nine two one six eight fifty dot two. No, sure. Okay. So let me check show 
IP. Okay. Now I have to configure the NAT. So I'll just go in my interface and I will put command IP NAT outside. So any traffic which is going outside, make it NAT. Same thing I go for interface gigabit IP NAT inside. Okay. 0 slash 01 is connecting with my inside and 00 with my outside network. What next? I have to configure a IP NAT source list 0 command. For this one, I will create the access list first. I'll say access list 10, permit any. Okay, simple. And I'll make command IP NAT inside source list. 50, which is my access list, interface, my outside, and I will put this overload keyword. What it will do, it will do, it will work as a net, sorry, pet. Okay. With this word, it will take the port number randomly and start making my traffic moving from inside to outside. One thing more, I will configure the default route, IP route, my IP is uh, uh, once a default gateway is 2147.129, okay. This is my default gateway. So let me review, show, run interface gigabit. And uh, this is one, sorry. Show run, section, net, show run, section, access list. Simple, okay. Now we'll configure remaining things. Host name, I will just mention internet router. I will configure the username as admin privilege 15 secret. I will just mention admin admin. And if I do do show run section username, you will see here this is encrypted because of my secret keyword. Okay, it make it encrypted. So uh, we have done the configuration on the internet router. Let me do the ping test. Okay, uh, before doing the ping test, I need to mention the IP name server. Okay, so I put it IP name server 212. This IP I got from my ISP as well. Okay, for the name resolution. So finally, we have done the configuration. Let me save. Okay, you see, I'm able to ping the Google DNS. This is my 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 is my Google DNS. So I will do one thing. I will just mention google.com. So finally, my internet is uh, accessible from my router. Uh, one thing more, I can do some other thing as well. Show run section route. Let me ping my default gateway. Okay, I can ping so many other website, for example, cisco.com. And if you see over here, when I mention uh, ping cisco.com, the message translated www.cisco.com with domain server, which is my ISP 212.1160.2. Okay, this is the domain server I just mentioned. Uh, here up 
before I I will show you where I mentioned this one. Two one two twelve one sixty dot two. This two command. Okay. So it's uh, when I said uh, Cisco dot com or Google dot com, it will go to this DNS server, which is the ISP DNS, and it do the resolution for Cisco dot com. Domain server Cisco dot com. So uh, guys, we have done the configuration. Where is my real time diagram? This is not the one. Just let me check. Yes, because I'm using ASR 1002 router for my internet, which is the uh, advanced level uh, Cisco router. And this is uh, required for the high bandwidth, high application, high throughput. So I'm using this ASR. OK, I'll make it zoom. So this is my ASR router. So uh, finally, I'm able to uh, let me do the uh, let me do it zoom out so i have done this part of my configuration so in the next uh, session i will configure my palo alto firewall okay and this is the most important uh, video especially uh, for the configuration of the palo alto firewall and to understand this video you have to to be understand with my infrastructure my internet router connectivity Otherwise, you are never able to understand how the Palo Alto configure. What I will do it, I will just give you a short clip. I have different subnets in my inside zone and I have different subnet in my DMZ zone. Even for the management, I keep the segregation of the network devices in my uh, DMZ zone and inside uh, in, in my inside zone. Okay. And the gateways will be available on the Palo Alto firewall. And what will be the approach for configuration that inside network devices does not have reachability with the outside or even though from my DMZ zone, because this is my uh, secure area and DMZ zone have uh, with the wireless controller and with my guest Wi-Fi users. So this section will be open with the internet reachability for into out and out to in. So uh, there are different. IP addresses for the for the infrastructure devices, which is this subnet, and uh, for the guest Wi-Fi, I have this subnet 192.168 VLAN. Okay, this is the subnet. This is the subnet for my guest Wi-Fi. So, uh, if you want to understand how I configure the Palo Alto, then my advice is to watch my this videos DMZ zone infrastructure and inside zone infrastructure and my internet connectivity, which is Right now, we are going to finish. So, uh, guys, finally, uh, we are able to configure our ASR router. I hope uh, you see it's very easy. It just uh, took maybe practically if you go for uh, configuration, it will not take more than uh, five minutes for configuring if you put the right command and you know what you are doing. So uh, I, uh, we have done our lab for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this channel and uh, stay tuned and we'll be back. Take care, Allah Hafiz.